Hey guys, how are you? This is uh, Apple Rogers Genius on the YouTube channel. This will just be a quick little video on how to make a USB installer for Mojave. Uh, people are asking out there, uh, you know, and I see other YouTube videos out there that do the installer and so forth, so uh, nothing really complicated there. Uh, the thing is, is just their videos are outdated. Uh, I haven't really seen any newer, newer versions, and uh, people are just asking me, which I, again, I don't mind. Uh, so anyways, uh, I have a bunch of installers, which are the all the OS 10s uh, since way back in the day and uh, Since they pretty much comment on my page uh, on my video and they want the uh, They want to the download because they try to do it through the Apple's website and uh, sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't to download the full version. So I have it already available So you don't have to kind of fuss with that and I will just copy the share folder of the link and then I can be able to share you that uh, DMG file. Uh, so like for an example, this is my Dropbox here. Uh, my Dropbox is a couple terabytes and here I go to my share. I go under my Macintosh and I have also old legacy apps and so forth. But anyways, uh, this is OS 10. So these are all the OS 10s that I have. Uh, I'm trying to procure the two and three uh, these these other ones here are the originals from the actual CD back in the day when they had CDs um, so anyways <coughs> um, look, I gotta merge this one too these two are snow leopard different versions oh that's right uh, one's a server and one's just a standard OS 10 server uh, license but anyways uh, so people are saying on Mojave so there's a 10.14.3 I have a 10.14.5 and then there's a new one there's a 10.14.6 uh, which I actually have on a flash drive uh, in my backpack somewhere so anyways uh, people wanted to know how to make their uh, own USB bootables so you basically need the drive here's the drive I have here is under the green dot or the red dot you can't put in the red dot no green dot uh, then you want to make sure you open up uh, terminal now there's a little difference in doing it with Mojave um, people have done it with high Sierra and below which is all pretty much the same process there's the sudo there's a create install media folder uh, there's the application path and then you have the bonding well with Mojave oh, excuse me I'm about to cough <coughs> <coughs> with Mojave you can technically uh, it's actually a, a newer version uh, when you're doing uh, if you're doing 10 uh, was it 14.5 um, it kind of not uh, does not allow you to do the uh, does not allow you to do the uh, well I can't even speak now uh, would not allow you to do it with the application path it would only allow you to do it with the uh, create and install media and it will allow you only to do the uh, what is the other one the value path let's let's go to my folder here. let's see what I think I have <coughs> uh, no I don't have it in here so anyways uh, so let's get started and you can see what I'm talking about so we'll go ahead and show packages standard normal process uh, then you go to your resources uh, then here's the install media okay so you want to select that and then from this point you don't do application path so technically this folder here you can ignore and close and then well here you'll just do in volume and then space select the volume here's the volume drag that up in there and then you're just gonna press enter now it's not gonna ask you for a computer password so you see and then it says are you sure you want to install and blah 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 whatever the case is so we're just gonna say yes <coughs> this drive is going to go pretty fast so as you can see it's a 0 10 20 30 and it went jump to 100 uh, most of you people are going to only see the 40 50 60 70 80 90 percent because uh, your flash drives may only run like 100 megabits per second and low, slower uh, this flash drive I'm running is an NVMe PCIe M2 so it's going to run close to 500 to uh, 650 megabits per second uh, so it's going to run through that process there uh, but as you can see, uh, I did not use the application path, so I didn't have to physically look and say, oh, the, here's the application here, uh, so you know where it is, let me drag it over, and you didn't have to do any of that. Uh, with Mojave, uh, they broke it down to do it this way. Now, to do it this way uh, was a change in 10.14.5. Uh, now that I'm actually on 10. Uh, what is it? I'm on 10.14.5. 
10.14.5 still. I have not updated to 10.14.6. Uh, when you update to 10.14.6, that will have the ability of just using just a volume and not using the application path. Uh, once this is getting done and going through your process, as, as you can see, it's copied into disk. It's almost done. Uh, it's going to pop up here. Oh, actually, it already popped up here. So uh, there it is. So as soon as it's done, it'll tell you right here it's done. Uh, and then you can uh, insert, uh, you can eject and then reinsert. And then you get the pop up for the uh, OS X installer. Uh, but this, these are mainly just used for if uh, when you do an, uh, uh, an a new fresh install boot uh, just make sure when you do it when you get into the the disk utility make sure you wipe the drive because if you don't wipe the drive and you just install it uh, it doesn't really get rid of everything so you would want to make sure it gets rid of everything so you have uh, eliminates any or all problems you might be having already so okay so that's already done so I close this I go ahead and open this up there it is so <coughs> I normally change my icons so Oh no, I deleted that icon. Oh no. Here it is. That's the icon I normally use, Marvel. Just so I know when I boot up externally to another computer, uh, I know exactly what the drive is and what does it look like. And it pulls up actually with the icon. So it's actually pretty cool. So let me move that to the trash. So now if I go ahead and, oops, uh, it's always proper to eject the drive. So now it's ejected, let me reinsert it. And then you'll see the, uh, the pop-up. There it is, good. And then there's the install. And then there's your install. So you can go ahead and install the application. Now, I try to, if I go ahead and try to do this, it's gonna say, oh, you have a newer version than what this is. Uh, but actually, this is the same version that I have on my computer, which is the 10.14.5, so there's nothing newer. These two are the exact same. Uh, okay, hopefully this video helps you out and so that you know how to do and how to do in creating a USB install boot uh, for your uh, Mojave. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down to the bottom. Uh, comments if you guys are in requiring of need of the uh, OS tens that you cannot find and if I have them uh, I have these whole slew if there are other ones that you're trying to get uh, I am Apple certified and I can get them directly from Apple uh, so then I can go ahead and put them here and then share them with you guys uh, all right well thanks and have a great day